Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kesu Egbe. If this is your first time, please hit the subscribe button. Today, we are learning how to customize our closure wig. So I'll start by showing you guys the wig. This is the wig I made and now I'm going to try to customize this wig. If you don't know how to make this closure wig, I have a video I will add to the description so you can learn how to make yours. So I'll turn this wig upside down and just try to keep this wig in place. Then I'll cut out the cap directly on top of the closure you can see how I'm doing this I'm trying to make sure that I don't like cut the closure net so this is how it looks like you can see that the net is really gritty the holes are really sharp so the intention we have right now is to reduce the holes i'll be using this bw2 bleach and the developer i'm using is 12 percent developer i like to use the 12 percent developer because i don't want this uh, cap to really bleach so fast and maybe now turn the hair like golden so i'm using 12 percent developer so next thing i'll do is i'll make sure i'll mix the, the bleach and the developer I'm just using like very little bleach and developer so I'll just mix this up I'm mixing this up really well I'm using one of the brushes from my brush set I like to use this brush because it's so easy to apply this on the lace so I'm making sure I'm applying this everywhere because i want to reduce the visibility of the holes on the lace so you want to make sure you apply this everywhere all the way down to the part of the lace without the hair So I had some leftover from the mixture so I used it for another hair and even a third hair so when you are mixing take note of this you don't need so much so I left this for about 15 minutes 15 20 minutes it depends on you and now I've washed this and I'm placing this back on the mannequin now we'll proceed to the other parts of the customization let me quickly add that I left this for 20 minutes because I was using a 12% developer. If I was using a higher percentage, you would need to leave this less for lesser time. Okay. So this is it. You can see that the hair is looking kind of brown at the bottom. And this is part of what makes it look like it's real. Okay. So that's the point of the developer and the bleach mixture. So now I want to continue customizing. So I'm pushing this backwards because I really don't want no baby hairs. So I'm just going to pluck some parts at the front. Just very little. You don't want to go overboard with the plucking and everything. Next, I'll turn this hair inside out. This time, we want to add our elastic band. I always love to add elastic bands to my wigs because I'm not really into applying got to be glue every time I want to put my wig on. I want it to be firm with or without the got to be glue. So, although I didn't really give you like how to measure the elastic band, but I'll try to do a video for that 
exactly for just that basically to show you how to get the measurement for your elastic band next time so I'm sewing this to one side after sewing this to that side I'll turn it to the other side and sew it to the other side You can also sew this at the bottom too if you want. So next I'll take my foundation and my beauty blender and I'll begin to apply this on the lace. You can use a concealer too of your shade or if you are doing this for a client you can just like predict the client's uh, shade, the client is like fair or a bit dark or average, you use the concealer that fits their skin too. And you apply this on the lace just like I'm doing You can see how the pattern looks. The lace looks really transparent and that's when you know that your bleach has worked. So I'm taking this brush. This is a brush I use for my eyebrow. I'll apply the foundation or concealer on it and I'll begin to apply this on the pattern. Like very lightly. You don't want it so much. Just want this very lightly on the pattern. And you can move your hand a little bit to the side to give it that you know just make it not so dark there so you can see how this looks like we can't even see the lace any longer it looks really kind of like natural I would say Next step is I use my shea butter. I apply the shea butter on the pattern, on the hair, on the pattern, on both sides. And in the front too. You want to do this while your hair is still wet, but not like dripping wet, just like damp, you know. Then I hit my coiling iron for just a little while and I'm using this to melt the shea butter into the hair. I'm melting the front and the pattern So You really want your pattern very flat and the elastic band what it does is it drags the lace cap so that the pattern is really flat. You don't want to wear your closure wig and then your pattern is like looking long lumpy if that's a word but you get what i'm saying you want it flat so you should use your coiling iron to flatten so i bought this nude cap and i wear the cap on my head i'm wearing just one of it next i'll take my foundation and my beauty blender I apply the foundation just at the front there where the closure goes you don't need to apply this everywhere because that's just the part that needs to be transparent I'm wearing the wig now as you can see it's so easy it just becomes so firm immediately with the elastic band it just feels really firm so I arrange this and you know just buckle everything at the back and make it look perfect so you can cut your lace on your mannequin or you can be like me and cut the lace on your head don't do that cut the lace on your mannequin please for the closure not for frontal for closure you can cut your lace on your mannequin so i'm cutting this on my head because like i'm trying to be kind of smart <laughs>
so this is the hair after everything and honestly i must say the hair looks so fine i also have a tutorial on how to do this makeup i'm going to add the link in the description you can go watch it and learn how to do this eyeshadow look so this is it thank you guys for watching this video i love you all so much see you next time bye bye Thank you.